Which graph shows the variation of time or velocity of an object falling vertically downwards in a vacuum? Vacuum is an important word here because a vacuum tells me that there will be no air resistance. Ah, beautiful. No drag force. No curvy graphs. I mean, you get the idea. So we need to find velocity time. Now, without looking about any equations, just think about this. A ball is falling down. Is it getting faster and faster or slower and slower? It's getting faster and faster, speeding up. So that means just by that thought alone, we should be able to cancel out A and B. Because why is it getting slower? No, you should start off at zero and then you slowly go faster, faster as you increase over time. Okay, then the second point is, is it a straight line or is it a curve? Why would there be a curve? So this curve is related to the terminal velocity curve where eventually you will flat line out and you hit your terminal velocity. There is no terminal velocity if there's no air resistance. So no, we don't need that. This is the choice that we can choose for our graph of a falling object where because there is no drag force, the acceleration which is the gradient, is constant, 9.81. In the other case, the gradient is actually changing. Eventually, gradient will become zero when you reach terminal velocity. Okay, maybe you start off down here. Acceleration is 9.81, okay? If you want to know an equation to com confirm this graph, you think of how you can relate V and T in one equation. Turns out it's a Stuva equation. Remember this one? V equals to U plus AT. Hmm, okay. So this itself, you can rearrange into a straight line equation already. V equals AT plus U. I rewrote it this way so that we can recognize a little bit that our y-axis is V, x-axis is T. Then the rest, U will be our intercept. A is our gradient. Y equals to MX plus C. Looks like our graph didn't start from the origin. So there is no initial speed, is zero. Lah. Okay, because intercept is zero. Okay, so I think that's all for this graph question. I'll see you in the next one.